Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to talk about stacking photographs. Now, stacking photographs can be helpful when you only want to display the best of several similar images in the library. Both images in folders as well as collections can be stacked. So I'm going to start in grid view, and here I have a whole series of this one iceberg. So I'm going to select all of those images and then just deselect this one because it's not as similar. Then I can choose the photo menu and stacking and group into stack or use the keyboard shortcut command G on Mac, control G on Windows. Once I've stacked images, we'll see an icon that will give me the number of images that are stacked. If I click on that, it will expand the stack. If I click on it again, it will collapse it. We can also expand the stack by clicking on the vertical lines on the left or on the right side of the thumbnail. And then we can collapse it by either clicking again or we can move to the last image in the stack and click to collapse it. With a stack selected, I can also just tap the S key in order to expand or collapse the stack. One thing to know is that when you're making changes to images and they're in a stack, for example, if I promote this to two stars, whatever change I make will only be made to the visible image. So in this case, the one on the top of the stack. If I tap the S key to expand it, now I can select additional images. And when I tap the one key, all of the images will be changed. If I want to remove images from a stack, we can select the images, choose the photo menu, stacking, and then remove from stack. If I want to change or reposition the order of the images within the stack, I can click and drag and drop in order to reorder them, or use shift left bracket in order to move up towards the top of the stack, or shift right bracket to move down towards the bottom. If I want to quickly place an image at the top of the stack, again, I can drag and drop that image to the top. And you'll notice when I did that, these two other images, because they were captured before the image that was placed on the top of the stack, actually moved in front of the stack in the grid view. If I don't want to drag and drop, I can select an image within the stack and use Shift S in order to move it to the top of the stack. All right, let's close that stack. And Lightroom Classic also has a way to automatically stack images. We can choose Photo and then Stacking and choose to Auto Stack by Capture Time. Then I can designate the time between stacks. So let's say, for example, I was shooting HDR or panoramas. I might want to make the time between stacks very small so that Lightroom Classic would group together each one of my panoramas. Or if I was shooting something that took a longer amount of time, like different locations on a hike, then I might want to move my time between stacks over to the right. Lightroom will tell us how many stacks it will make and how many images will remain unstacked because they don't meet the criteria. I'll choose Stack, and we can see how Lightroom Classic automatically stacked the images in the folder based on the range selected. If I wanted to undo these stacks, I could do them individually, or I could choose Edit, Select All, and then Photo, Stacking, and Unstack. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.